I mean, this is a good point in terms of uh, general flu intelligence to mention. In your paper, you describe different kinds of generalizations, uh, local, broad, extreme, and there's a kind of a hierarchy that you form. So when we say generalizations, what what are we talking about? What kinds are there? Right. So uh, generalization is is a very old idea. I mean, it, it's even older than machine learning. In the context of machine learning, you say uh, a system generalizes if it can uh, make sense of an input it has it has not yet seen, mm -hmm. uh, and that's what I would call uh, system centric uh, generalization. You it's generalization uh, with respect to novelty uh, for the specific system you're considering. So I think a good test of intelligence should actually uh, 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 deal with. Uh, developer aware generalization, which is slightly stronger than system centric generalization. So, developer generalization, developer aware generalization would be uh, uh, the ability to generalize to novelty or uncertainty that not only the system itself has not access to, but the developer of the system could not have access to either. That's that's a fascinating that's a fascinating meta definition. So, like the system. Is, uh, it's, it's basically the edge case thing we're talking about with autonomous vehicles. Yes. Neither the developer nor the system know about the edge cases in my encounter. Yes. So it's up to the, the, the system should be able to generalize the thing that that uh, nobody expected, yeah. neither the designer of the training data, nor obviously the, the contents of the training data. That's a fascinating definition. So you can see generalization, degrees of generalization as a spectrum. Yeah. And the lowest level is uh, what machine learning is trying to do, is the assumption that uh, any new situation is going to be sampled from a static distribution of possible situations, and that you already have a representative sample of that distribution. That's your training data. And so in machine learning, you generalize to a new sample from a known distribution. And the ways in which your new sample will be new or different uh, are ways that are already understood by the developers uh, of the system. So you are generalizing to known unknowns for one specific task. That's uh, what you would call robustness. You are robust to things like noise, small variations, and so on. Um, uh, for one uh, a fixed known uh, distribution that, that you know through your training data. And um, a higher degree would be uh, flexibility in machine intelligence. So flexibility would be something like an L5 cell driving car, or maybe a robot that can uh, uh, you know, pass the, the coffee cup test, which is the, the notion that you would be given a, a random kitchen uh, somewhere in the country and you would have to you know, go make a cup of coffee in that kitchen. Uh, right. So flexibility would be the ability to deal with unknown unknowns, so things that could not, uh, dimensions of variability that could not have been possibly foreseen uh, by the creators of the, of the system within one specific task. So generalizing to the long tail of situations uh, uh, in self-driving, for instance, would be flexibility. So you have robustness, flexibility, and finally, you would have extreme generalization, which is basically flexibility, but uh, instead of just considering one uh, specific domain like driving or domestic robotics, you're considering an open-ended range uh, of possible domains. So um, a robot would be capable of uh, uh, extreme generalization if, let's say, it's, it's designed and trained uh, to, to co for cooking, for instance. Um, and if I, if I buy the robot and if I'm able, uh, if it's able, uh, to teach itself gardening in, in a couple of weeks, it would be capable of extreme generalization, for instance. So the ultimate goal is extreme generalization. Yes. So be, uh, creating a system that is so general that it could essentially achieve a human skill parity over arbitrary tasks and arbitrary domains with the same level of you know, improvisation and adaptation power as humans when, when, when it encounters new situations. And it would do so uh, over basically the same range uh, of possible domains and tasks uh, as humans and using the, essentially the same amount of, of training experience, of practice as humans would require. That would be human level extreme generalization.